everybody, it's The Bull Show, aka Aiden, and welcome back to another video. Today, we've got the Golden State Warriors and the Chicago Bulls game reaction. Now, I'm going to be honest, I do not know how to approach this video because everything inside of me wants to rant about how this game was played, wants to rant about how poorly we were, but I also want to take into consideration this is the first time we've lost in the manner that we've lost in, and of course, it will never be acceptable to lose like that, but at the end of the day, I do want to kind of take a step back as well and just look at the situation that we're in and just see what we can improve on going forward so i guess you're going to see a little bit of a mixed reaction from me in this video today but before we get started please like and subscribe to the bull show turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below your thoughts about the game today how can we improve how can we recover from a game like this and what are your thoughts heading into the next couple games that we have with a loss like this also, you're going to not see me do individual performances in today's video because at the end of the day, this is not a video full, full of fun and games. Let's talk about individual players and all of that. Uh, I don't necessarily want to do that in this video. I don't think it's the right timing to do that. So you won't see that from me. You'll see the must improve in the player of the game as per usual, but you won't necessarily see the individual performances because we have a lot to talk about in terms of what went wrong in this game. The Bulls lost this game 119 to 93. Outside of the first quarter, we were very lackluster the whole way through. We did end up having a strong fourth quarter, but most of that was from our bench unit. And the Golden State Warriors pretty much took handle of this game after the first quarter and they ran away with the win very comfortably. Now, I can understand losing to the Warriors. Let's be honest, they're the number one team in the West. They are good for a reason. They've won seven in a row at home and all of them have been convincing wins. So coming into this game, I was very confident we could match up with them, but obviously the Golden State Warriors just pretty much shot that confidence down straight away in the second quarter. And they did what they were, they did what they were supposed to do. They defended home court and they dominated the Chicago Bulls at the end of the day. But I think in the manner that we lost in, the way that we lost is probably the most concerning thing to me, probably the most angering thing to me. Not necessarily that we lost to the Warriors. At the end of the day, again, they are a strong team. If we lose to them, it's competition. I want to be close and competitive to all of these games, and I want us to perform well. But it's just the manner. I don't like the manner that we lost in. I don't like how we gave up in the third quarter. I don't like the situation that the Chicago Bulls put themselves in with their defense and their offense. And we're going to have to talk a little bit more about that now in this video so obviously we could talk about Stephen Curry first because he had a monster game he had 40 points today five assists and he's playing really good offensively and defensively and I definitely think we did a poor job on him now Stephen Curry is always going to get his points whether it's by getting himself to the line whether it's by uh, breaking down the play making threes I just thought in general if we played him better, we might have had a better chance. But the Chicago Bulls, in my opinion, did not play Stephen Curry very well. He was always getting open off screens. He was confusing a lot of our defenders, Lonzo, Caruso, Javante, Zach Levine, anybody that they put on him, pretty much, he was able to get open. And I think that's the, the worry as well with Stephen Curry. If you get him open, he's going to make you pay, especially this season where he's having an unbelievable season, as are the Warriors defensively having an unbelievable season. So you have to make sure you close the space and I don't think we did a terrific job in that and instead of 40 points if he had 27 28 points like what he's been averaging then maybe we might have a better standing in the game maybe this game would have been a little bit closer but we did do a poor job and he ended up dropping 40 on the Chicago Bulls and that does come down to communication comes down to turnovers we did commit some deep, some turnovers that led to open threes obviously we got out rebounded as well they they, they dictated the pace the whole game and we're a team that likes to play fast, but when we saw the Warriors play fast, we couldn't handle it, which is something else that is really worrying to me. And the energy of the team is especially is the concern because I don't want to say we gave up because obviously that's... Um, uh, you have to give the Warriors credit for how they played. I don't think saying give up is the way that the Chicago Bulls should have... Uh, the way that I should be saying it at least. But... I don't understand how the Chicago Bulls are a really fast-oriented team. We like to move the ball, we like to push the pace, but when other teams to push the pace against us, we seem to very, very much struggle in that instance. So. I feel like it is a question of energy. I feel like it's a question of whether or not they're willing to 
go the extra mile and try to defend when teams are running at them. And I don't think we did a good job at that at all. So I, I'm not sure. I don't say I'm not going to say we gave up, but I'm going to say that our energy dropped dramatically. And again, this is the worst home game, or this is the worst away start to the Western Conference trip you could have ever asked for. Going into the Western Conference trip, especially the first game, you want to be close, at least close in the game. If you lose, you're losing away from home against the Golden State Warriors. There's no shame in that. But if you're close, you get a little bit more confidence within your team. You get to back your team a little bit more. And in the end, you go to the next game, which will be against the Clippers, and you get to have a little bit of momentum here. Now, instead of having that momentum, our momentum is now probably at an all-time low. And now we have to try and kick in with personal pride against the Los Angeles Clippers to make sure we don't see the same thing happen again. Talking more about our offense now, uh, we really struggled offensively, and I think it showed. I think 93 flattered us in many ways because our fourth quarter was really strong from the Chicago Bulls. We scored 31 points in the fourth quarter, but our offense was shocking today. And um, again, it comes down to making shots, and I think the Warriors played us very, very well. We saw against the Dallas Mavericks, they like to do, um, they like to play zone defense. They played zone defense in instances, in doses against the Chicago Bulls, and we struggled to play offense within that zone defense. The same thing applied here. Stephen Curry said it himself in the halftime show. Again, I was watching the Warriors uh, broadcast, so I like to see what the other commentators have to say about the Bulls as well, not just the Bulls commentators. And in Stephen Curry's halftime show, pretty much he said it's a copycat league they saw what Dallas did to make a struggle and they put it into their own game as well and they have better defenders than the Dallas Mavericks so they were able to keep on using that system to slow us down and it definitely slowed us down we had the worst offensive game of the season in my opinion and of course we missed Nikola Vucevic today but I don't think we can miss Nikola Vucevic to the point where we lose this badly. I don't think you lose any, I don't think you miss any player to the point where you lose 119 to 93. That's probably the biggest issue as well. We may have lost an 18 point game performer, a 10 rebound performer. We got out rebounded today as well, the first time in a while. You saw the size issues as well for the Chicago Bulls play a big factor. Again, we have been out rebounding other teams with Nikola Vucevic in the team, Javante or, or Derek Jones Jr. But this is probably the first standout game where you saw the size issues really play a factor. You saw, obviously, Andrew Wiggins get going in the, in the second half, and he had some size matchups as well. Just a whole bunch. There's a whole lot of things. But yeah, with our offense, Zach and Demar got double teamed. At times, triple teamed. They got trapped. They were definitely the targets of the Golden State Warriors defense today. And it doesn't help when there's no other player that wants to step up. Again, looking at the starting lineup for this game, I'm just going to give the points tallies. Tony Bradley had three points. Lonzo Ball had five points. Javante Green had three points. This is something that was probably the biggest issue, and I said it in the last video, and I'll say it in this video as well. I know I keep saying it's the biggest issues because all these issues, in my opinion, are equally as big. We needed someone to step up. We needed that third man. Usually Vucevic is that third man. And when he struggles, we still could lose games. But we needed another player to step up in a big way today. And we didn't see one person really step up to help Zach Levine or DeMar DeRozan. And DeMar DeRozan didn't have a great game either. Don't get me wrong. But you need more help. There needs to be more help in this team. And someone needs to step up to try and get some points. That's why I really like the way Io played. Because at least he was knocking down shots. I like Derek Jones Jr.'s performance today. Because at least he was getting some offensive rebounds. And taking it into the paint. Getting some foul calls. I thought those two had really strong games today. Even Alizé Johnson probably had a decent game as well. But there needed to be more. There needed to be another person that could get to that 15-point mark. And if Lonzo Ball makes his shots today, this could have been a different game completely. But he made one three. And I think he got a layup. I'm not sure what... Oh, he got a wide open dunk, sorry. So th those were the two, five points that he had. And it just wasn't enough. We needed to see more out of Lonzo. We needed to see more out of Javante Green. We needed to see more out of Tony Bradley in the starting lineup to really elevate this team and push this team and help each other instead of making it Zach Levine and DeMar because that's when they started to really clamp us up. When there was no one else helping, no one else willing to shoot the ball, and then you see Zach Levine and DeMar DeRozan getting doubled and tripled and turning the ball over trying to find someone else to get the ball to. 
It's as simple as that. If you have that third scorer, if Lonzo Ball makes his shots, Zach Levine doesn't get double teamed the way that he has today. DeMar DeRozan doesn't get double teamed the way that they, that they had today. They're not cramming the paint the way that they did today. They extremely, they made the paint so narrow that it was extremely tough to get any shot off in the paint. And if that, if Lonzo Ball makes his shots, if Javante Green makes his shots, if Tony Bradley ends up getting some shots in the paint, some some post shots, they don't get double teamed. It's as simple as that. But none of them made their shots. Zach, Demar, double team, triple team, forced to turn the ball over, and then they run out and transition and get easy shots. At the end of the day, this is a bad game. This is the worst game of our season. And I don't want to rant and scream and say this team is terrible or whatnot. But these are the things that went wrong for the Chicago Bulls. These are the things that at least I could recall. We got out-rebounded, we turned the ball over a lot, we couldn't hit shots, which ended up in the Golden State Warriors double-teaming and triple-teaming some of our players, and it ended up in them running out in transition. We didn't guard Stephen Curry very well, but nevertheless, outside of Stephen Curry, we just didn't play good defense overall. Just looking at the stats of all the Golden State Warriors players, you could clearly see where our defensive struggles lied. You gave Andrew Wiggins 15 points. You gave Jordan Poole 14 points. Then you move over, you get all of their bench players like Iggy, like Gary Payton, like N Nemanja Belicia, Otto Porter. All of them had really strong and decent games off of the bench. So it is a frustrating one. And obviously, this is one I don't think many people will be very happy about. Clearly, the Chicago Bulls fans won't be very happy about. But it is the first one that we've seen. This is the first really big blowout loss that we've had. And it's not going to be acceptable. And I'll never promote saying it's going to be acceptable. But I don't want to overreact. I don't want to scream and shout. Maybe if this does happen again within this West Coast trip, you might see a different version of me. The one that I'm kind of containing because I really do want to scream and shout at the moment. But I'm not going to do that. Our next game, well, I must improve, sorry, is going to be the whole team. Uh, pretty simple. The whole team needs to improve because I just thought, in general, this team had a really bad game. You can't name anybody that had a good game. I know Zach Levine dropped 23 and 6. He had a bad game today, a lot of turnovers, and he was just being forced to do things that he doesn't usually do. Same with DeMar. Lonzo had a bad game. Tony Bradley had a bad game. Javante Green had a bad game. Alex Caruso had a bad game. Just a bunch of players had really bad games today. And I hope this is not an th ongoing theme in this West Conference trip. I hope this is just a one type of game scenario because we versed a really good uh, team the first West game. We didn't come out with enough energy and all of that situation. And this is just a one-off and then we can kick things off against the Clippers. But if this, is not, if this is an ongoing theme, I do worry about the next couple of games in the West. And I do worry about how this team will look without Vucevic in the team. So it's another another thing I should mention as well. I really, this is a game where we, we would miss Kobe White. Because um, we needed someone that could just shoot the ball. And we, we didn't find anybody that could shoot the ball today. Again, Lonzo tried. He was shooting the ball. You've got to give him credit. He shot eight threes today. It's, it's a shame he only made one of them. It's as simple as that. Because if he does make, if he had that game against the Mavericks, this game is a much closer game. It's just one of those things where he didn't make his shots and we end up getting blown out. But we do miss a player like Kobe White in today's game. Someone that could just shoot the ball. Someone that could create their own shot. And just give us another diverse way to try and get this offense going a bit. Which we obviously didn't see in today's game. This is definitely a game where you miss Kobe White. The player of the game will be Zach Levine, but there's no real morale or happiness in saying that because we got blown out and Zach Levine had a bad game himself. But yeah, the whole team must improve and our player of the game is Zach Levine. The Bulls record is 8-4. Uh, again, it's just the first game. I don't want to go too much into this. It's a bad loss. It's a loss that's not acceptable. And I'm sure that there needs to be a personal pride that kicks in. Not only the next time when we verse Golden State, we will verse them one more time. And a good thing about that is that we will see Klay Thompson back. Now, that might not be good for the Bulls, but I think for the NBA, it's going to be really good to see Klay Thompson back in the NBA. We, I think most of us do miss him. And um, yeah, but we will verse them one more time at the United Center. And our next game is going to be against the Los Angeles Clippers. This is going to be a very interesting game because we have to walk into this game with personal pride. We got embarrassed away from home. And this is a team that we expect to win a lot of games. So when it comes to losing the way that we lost today, we have to look at ourselves. We have to take some personal pride. Because if we go into this Los Angeles Clippers game, we get equally as embarrassed. The Clippers come out and destroy the Chicago Bulls in the second, third quarters and they run away with the game. 
then we're gonna be in a tough situation. We're gonna be in a situation that I don't think any of us wants to be in. So hopefully this is just a one-off game. Hopefully we do get to see the best out of the Chicago Bulls. The Clippers are seven and four, so they're gonna come in with a very similar record to us, and they're versus the Timberwolves right after. So this is gonna be a relatively even game in terms of record. So let's see if the Chicago Bulls can again show up and try to perform at a high level and try and win this game at the Staples Center. It's gonna be very interesting, and I can't wait to see if we can bounce back from this or if we're gonna see it just a really poor Western Conference trip. Let's hope it's the latter. Let's hope we get to see the best out of the Chicago Bulls. Let's hope we get to bounce back and let's hope that personal pride does kick in against the Clippers. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. At the end of the day, I don't need to say any any more. I've said what I need to say. This is not a game I'm gonna overreact to, but it's also not a game where we're gonna have fun in games, talk about every single player and how great they were. That's not the time, because we did get embarrassed away from home, and there needs to be some pride that kicks in, and hopefully the team can do that. And let's not overreact, it's just one game. We'll move on to the next one and see if that one will get us more worried. Take care, and peace.